The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace.
and I'm starting up. Hello, hi, hi, hello, hi. Oh boy, I'm uh, I'm just starting up here, uh, but um, we should be <laughs> we should be good. Um, just spreading the word. So, hello, hi, uh, so I've been meaning to play most of the Metroid series <laughs> since friggin' Dread got announced, but I actually, uh, <gasps> oh god, yeah, this is embarrassing, I actually forgot to do that, <laughs> yeah, um, oh, by the way, let me exit Dropbox real quick, just so that I have more bandwidth. So yeah, I actually forgot to, uh, you know, beat. Yeah, yeah, it's just a yellow screen right now. I'm not doing anything. Um, I have uh, yet to beat Metroid Fusion. And it's not the game, it's just background music. Um, I have yet to beat Metroid Fusion, Zero Mission, and Samus Returns. And frankly, um... God damn it. <laughs> I wanted to do that and I haven't. And so what is going to happen is I'm going to stream as many Metroid games as I can until <laughs> Dread comes out. Whew! So these are games frequently speedrun. But the thing is, I'm not a speedrunner. But they are games you generally can finish in around four hours. So, like, even if you're not speedrunning. So, you know what? That's what I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to start Metroid Fusion up from the start. I'm going to be... Oh. I'm going to start Metroid Fusion from the start. I'm going to try and beat it. And see if I have time to do Metroid Zero Mission as well. Samus Returns is a bit of a longer game because it's, you know, more feature complete. It's not a Game Boy Advance game for starters, so probably going to take me a while to do. But, yeah, I'll be right back and we'll start the game. try to get it like really into the game so forgive me if uh i don't reply to chat immediately also by the way if you can tell me how i sound i should be sounding okay i'm not entirely sure let 
Let me just add a little bit of a noise gate. Here we go. Okay. All right, gotta configure my goddamn <laughs> joypad. Up. Wait, is this even plugged in? All right, uh, <laughs> shit, this was working last time. All right. I think I'm. I think I'm good. Sorry. Testing. Testing. I had to unplug my fucking USB mouse, but I should be good now because I have a trackpad. Okay. Let's see if I can configure this now. Oh boy. Okay. I am playing. Okay. 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 Wait, 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 no, wait. Input, configure. Up, down, left, right. A, B, L, R. Select, start. Okay. Metroid 4. What up, Funky Pepe? How's it going? Hey. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, I'm playing Metroid Fusion. And how it goes, Nochi? You're... <laughs> your font name, or, like your font color is really dark against uh, night mode. So sorry if I don't super see that. But yeah, how do I sound? By the way, if anyone could tell me how I sound, that would be very helpful. So yeah, um, I was supposed to play this game. I was supposed to beat this game before Dread came out, and that is increasingly leaving leaving me with l less and less time, or fewer and fewer hours and minutes. Sound okay, that's excellent. I'm so glad. All right, well. I might, um, wait. Okay, so I might take a little, um, uh, a little minute to, uh, you know, play the game a little bit. I'm not gonna pay a lot of attention to chat, so maybe talk amongst yourselves and, you know, in a downtime, in like a save room or something for, uh, to that effect. I will be taking a little quick break to talk to you guys, so, um, you know, don't don't feel too bad. I'm still here, I'm still here. I'm just really trying to get into the game because I'm all about that experience, I'm all about that cinematic feeling. Like, when I played Super Metroid a few months ago, I just, like, dimmed all the lights, Put it on the nice TV, added a little bit of a cinematic filter, a little bit of a CRT filter on the TV, and, you know, it was like movie night, but with Super Metroid. And that was, like, such a magical experience, if I'm completely honest, and I kind of want to try to replicate that. Like, I don't know if you can tell, 
but I have a CRT filter over the video, which uh, over the uh, uh, my Game Boy Advance that I plugged in legally. Uh, so uh, I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, so yeah, let's let's get the show on the road. Start. Let's go. Oh wait. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry. Just. <laughs> Wait, shit. Input, configure. <laughs> Up, down, left, right, A, B, L, R. Select, start. Okay, sorry. Seems legit. Yeah. Okay, so I know we did this last stream, but... I've been assigned to watch over biologics research team so once again i found myself i'm not going to try to do a voice i'm just going to speak like my own way so i once again found myself on the surface of sr388 ooh spooky It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker. The parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness, and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. That was the intro we just watched. A couple of times. <laughs> God, you know, I haven't even watched any trailers for Dread besides the announcement one. If you can believe that, I've, I've been holding off. The ship's emergency systems automatically eject at the escape pod before impact. Biologics ve vessel recovered and transported me to the Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system. I'm surprised there's organic components to the power suit, if I'm absolutely honest. Like, I'm actually surprised by that. Like, what's the organic components? I'm really hoping it's not the other M stuff that makes it appear like a, a magical girl transformation. Not a fan of that, personally. I'm not knocking if you are a fan of that. But, like, meh. I just, I like, I like it. I like to think of Samus's suit as, like, more of an Iron Man kind of deal. dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was giving a, given a minimal chance of survival. Then, someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. Vaccines. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid, from SR388. That's a bit of a foreshadowing of uh, what, kind of, what kind of business, what kind of deals the Federation is up to. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Whew. As for me, one life ended. Yet I survived, reborn, as something different.
it. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. Sorry, I, I don't know. I shouldn't do the voice. I, I keep thinking, don't do a voice, because I want to, like, focus on the story and the text, and, like, doing a voice just distracts me. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the old Metro <laughs> Samus gunship. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate the quarantine bays here. Move quickly and quietly. Most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Okay, I'm going to need to reconfigure my controller. <laughs> Yeah, it was pressing all the buttons at the same time. Okay, this is spooky times, boys. Spooky times. I think I like this jumping better than Super Metroids. Oh, I love the sprite work. <clears throat> oh shit, I didn't I hadn't seen this before. Ooh, ledge grabbing! I forgot about that. Ooh, I actually forgot about that. Wait. The quarantine bay is ahead. Okay. Oh, I wanted to keep exploring. Dang it.
Oh, and all the broken containers and shit. Yeah, I see. I see. Ooh. Oh, the 3D. <laughs> yeah, I love that sort of thing. Not here. Ooh, the spooky music. Okay, I've been here. But I want to explore over here, so let's go. Okay, save room, guys. All right, so uh, hope we're doing good so far. I'm gonna save this data right here. But yeah, how are y'all? How you doing? How's life? Is anyone else excited for Metro Dread, or as excited as I am? Because it's doubtful, I'm really fucking excited about Dread. Really excited. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I wonder if it's even possible to beat it on your first try single sitting. I gotta get used to the controls, jeez. Downloadable weapons. You wouldn't download a missile, would you? Yeah. It's just missiles, man. Where else do you get those? Let's start down here. Okay. Let's 
Save room. So yeah, I honestly do kind of wonder where that came from, the download a missile. Like, was it Metroid Fusion? Did Metroid Fusion actually start, would you download it? Like, you wouldn't download a missile? <laughs> it's a music of so, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's just, I don't know, that whole campaign seemed so fucking funny to me because, like, you wouldn't download a car. Yes, you would. Dude, everyone hates, like, having to pay their car. Dude. And, you know, there's always, like, the parodies, like, you wouldn't put mustard on a hot dog. Or mayo on a hot dog. <laughs> I've seen those, at least. You wouldn't you put, put mayo on a hot dog. And also, to that, I also disagree. I would totally put mayo on a hot dog. Anyway, ah, boy, I really hope I'm not going to spend too long on this, but I really do want to beat Metroid Fusion before Dread. I want it to be Fusion, I want it to be Zero Mission, I want it to be um, Samus Returns. God damn it! I wasted so much time! I wasted so much goddamn time. Depends on the hot dog. What hot dog wouldn't you put mayo on, though? Like, for real. I would put hot dog like mayo, like maybe maybe not on the on the wiener, but I would put it on the bun. I would cover those buns in mayo. At least good mayo. I know like Americans don't, generally don't like mayo because the brands they have in the U.S. aren't exactly great. But like, I don't know the mayo's I've had. Oh, street dog. Oh, I don't know. I don't generally trust those, but like, if you're at a restaurant, you're not gonna order a hot dog exactly. So I don't know. It's up for debate. It's a, it's an ongoing debate. Anyway, let's go. Those save rooms are just gonna become our like conversation zones. I feel. Is there wall jumping on this? Shit. Navigation room. Yep. Okay. And this is where we get our missiles. Alright, I'm excited. Missiles! Hold R and then press B. Oh god. I'm just so used to R being like pointing upwards. Like the bumpers being up and down. In Super Metroid. Which, by the way, if you have not played Super Metroid, play Super Metroid! It's so good! It's so goddamn good! It's such a good game. And it railroads you sometimes, but it pays, it, uh, it pays off super well. I can't believe I was using a USB hub when I have like an extra USB port available. Idiot. Alright, I'm in. Alright, I might need to download missiles again. Man, shout out to the sprite artwork on this, by the way. It's really good. It's really good sprite artwork. And I'm a fan of good sprite artwork. Let's see, I feel like there was something I could do here. Ah.
Wait, no, I'm still not used to this. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. Ooh, I, God, I love that. I just love, like, <laughs> seeing all these ripped cables. Scary. What? Ah, there it is. Yeah, I didn't know that was there. <laughs> this fuck, this motherfucker pushed me right into where the missiles were. Shit, 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 I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Am I really gonna be farming X parasites right here? No, come back! Come back! I need shit. Is this why you're so weak in this game? Yeah, I'm just gonna farm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is not entertaining, but... I can't bear being weak in this, in this kind of situation. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I guess they knew... They knew I was gonna be feeling good at this point. Oh, shit. Yep. Uh. Uh, move, 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 move. Shit, shit, come on. I hate this, I hate this. Whew! I almost died to that guy again. I don't know if you were here for the last uh, stream, but I almost died to that guy. Ugh! Was I even... I, I didn't actually see how, my, uh, how I was doing on life, but I'm guessing it wasn't good. Yay! Why was I screwing up so much? I'm mean, just not used to like... I was just psyching myself out. I always psych myself out of shit. God damn. Twenty missiles. Full life. Whew. Okay, I should not be spooked right now. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Wait, save room. All right. Squeaky chair. You're gonna have to forgive the squeaky chair. Um. So, I've been streaming for uh, 40 minutes, 
I'd say about 30 if we don't count the setup. Three viewers, thank you so much for uh, sticking around, watching me play Metroid Fusion, being scared, <laughs> and farming life. Ugh, I, I, that must be like the antithesis of a fun stream, but I'm having a good time. I'm, I, I like it when I can for, uh, focus a little bit more on, uh, on the game itself. But should be good. All right, let's go. Shit, where was I going again? All right. Oh, that was it? I mean, I don't not appreciate it, but... Hmm. Okay, so I gen genuinely cannot remember where I'm supposed to go right now. <laughs> oh. Sector 1, SO388, yep. Okay. Alright, let's go. Can go here. Okay. Just trying to find my way. Let's try this way. Oh shit. Oh motherfuckers, yep, I remember this. I should probably look at me being like scared about life and shit and uh, then fucking staying in a freezing environment for who knows how long. Yeah, missiles! Oh, nice. Like you're just hearing all the explosions as you go down.
Let's not sequence break just yet. Whew! Scary. The axe in sector one had invaded. Oh shit. Whew, okay, save room. Chill time, fam. Whew. Let me just save the data right here. I'm just going to check up on my notifications real quick because, I don't know, people might be talking to me. I don't usually stream. I'm not used to, like, streaming and being unavailable, so. Let's see. All right. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going, fam. Do I need to recharge? Oh, my energy, yeah. <laughs> Spent way too long looking at that Ridley corpse. Which, by the way, I don't know if we've talked about this, but... Um... Oh, God. So, Ridley canonically dies in Super Metroid. Like, that's supposed to be, like, Ridley's last thing he does. Like, that is canon. Seems pretty cool, because, like, they actually stick to that canon. Like, uh... Other M's side, and honestly, who counts other M as uh, canon? But oh no, damn, no wall jump. Oh yeah, look, you can see the GameCube right there. It's funny.
All right. Whew, I needed that. <laughs> I needed that. Alright, almost there, almost there. Oh shit, nope, nope, nope. Look at that animation. Nice. Okay, that went well, like all things considered. Uh, hey, Cult Sadies, how's it going? Thank you for joining. I'm, uh, I'm currently playing Metro, yeah. Kicking ass? I don't know if I'd say kicking ass. Uh, this game is kicking my ass, and I'm, I feel like I'm going to die at any second now. But I'm trying, I'm trying. I have way more missiles this time than last time. Which is good. All right, yeah. Um, so, uh, you excited for Dread? Yes, I am so excited for Dread. I am, oh God, is it Friday? I thought it was like tomorrow, but yeah. <laughs> that means I do have a couple of days. Okay, so uh, yeah, I was gonna, my intention was to beat Fusion before Dread came out and I haven't done that. So <laughs> I'm trying to do that right now. Uh, yeah. And Zero Mission as well, but I think I might just play uh, Samus Returns, just as a refresher on the way this studio makes Metroid games. That's all. But yeah, so excited. That was, that's... Uh... Sorry. <laughs> Saw something. Uh... I'm so excited that I'm fucking trying to replay a bunch of Metro games I haven't played before. Okay, I think this is the last one. Which means it's probably harder. I actually really like that remake. Mostly because it was just like very... Okay, so opinions on Samus Returns. Real quick. I... It's, it's not... The love letter to Metroid that, like, AM2R was, sure. It wasn't, like, really inventive and thinking out of the box like most Metroidvanias are these days. But the thing is, though, it, it's literally what Metroid needed, you know? It, it needed a very standard, non-experimental 
run of the mill Metroid game where you like search and explore and do action y shit. Like, Metroid needed a Star Fox 64, a Metroid game that was like unequivocally, unexperimentally Metroid to like put it back on track after fucking Other M. And that's what it was. And it was perfect. It's got a bunch of callbacks to like a lot of like Super Metroid and Prime and stuff like that. So frankly, it, it's very good in that respect. Um, it does a lot of things super right. Yeah, yeah. Like like AM2R is like AM2R is for Metroid fans. Sam no, Samus Returns is more for Return of Samus. Samus Returns is more for people who ask am i should i play the other metro games before playing dread you know uh unfortunately it came out on a 3ds right after the switch came out so i mean that, that kind of hampered it a little bit but it exists if you still have a 3ds you can play it and it's really good that is my review of samus returns also the guys in mercury stream are great I fucking love that they fucking made Samus, like, new, uh, especially after, <sighs> yeah, okay, so I forgot about Federation Force, which I hear is a fine game, but it's just, it was bad timing to release a spinoff when the last game was Other M. Um, yeah, like, that's exactly what it needed. It didn't just need to erase Other M, or, like, correct from Other M, it needed to correct from Federation Force. Shit. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know these buttons did that. Um, so yeah, like, <laughs> I forgot where I was going with that. See, here's the thing. I think Federation Force would have been fine if it had come out in the middle of that barrage of Prime and Game Boy Advance games. Like, if that was the first 3DS Metroid game and then, like, Prime 4 was coming out, then hell yeah, like that would have been awesome. Thank you for the raid, Dragon Rider Luke. Vous êtes Luke? Tu es Luke? Sorry, I don't know. Like, I see L U C and I think Luke. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, Metroid. Uh, Samus Returns. It was a very good standard game of Metroid, and I appreciate it. Luke. Okay. Okay, cool. Luke. It's not the French Luke, it's Luke. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're, uh, oh. Forgive the squeaky chair. I'm replacing it soon. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I got you. It's all good, no worries. All right, there you go. Oh, I need to farm for a little bit. I'm not happy with the amount of energy I have right now. Oh wait, do they not come up to the foreground? Okay, that's fine, I can live with that. All right, let's go. I had so much trouble with this last time. Damn it. Yep, those guys are gone. I need those missiles. Okay, okay. It's like Super Metroid. Oh man, is this where I died last time? It might be.
Wait, what? Oh, you motherfuckers. Okay, so I am trapped here. Uh, not trapped, just... Yeah. I should keep climbing up to get to the same... God damn it! Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh no, I am trapped. Shit. That means I really gotta go back and actually think about where I'm going. Like, I heard this game was linear, but maybe not that linear. Oh, that was my issue. I, I was supposed to shoot more. Okay, that was... I'm such a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Save room. Whew! Okay. Yeah, you know what that means. Save room means take a breath, take a chill, take it easy. Whew! Alright, uh, so every Metroid has some level of wandering, but I think this one only has wandering if you want optional upgrades. Yeah, um, one thing I really liked about Super Metroid was that, you know, there is a little bit of railroading, but it's still completely up to you to, like, just check out stuff. And, you know, it makes you feel really clever when you find stuff. Because, you know, it's usually your gamer instinct. Ugh, gamer. Uh, instinct to, like, just, you know, shoot stuff, use your X visor, jump on stuff. And that usually rewards you, because usually, look, you shoot a stray block and you find a missile under it. So, that's, I really admire that about Super Metroid, and which I played a couple of months ago, so it's, like, really fresh in my memory. Uh, but, um, Metro Fusion, yeah, I heard it was, like, linear, and, but, like, it does have some wandering, as you said, and, yeah, I've already found a couple of, like, missile upgrades just by, like, being like, oh, I wonder what happens if I go this way, you know, so, I'm, I'm really loving this one so far. I just, that usually doesn't happen to me. I don't usually, like, stupid myself into a dead end and, like, go in and out of a room a couple of times. And so simply find progress and go the other way. Yeah, uh, I used to do that with Super Metroid. I, uh, and I really should recapture that. Um, I just, I honestly, I was actually debating whether I should play this one off stream. But the fact is, like, I was thinking of doing that for, like, two months. And I didn't stream it. So, and I didn't even play it in the first place. So, you know what? I think if I just stream it or something, I'm actually going to play it. And, hey, look at me. I'm actually playing it. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, I would just, like, draw and, like, work and stuff. I really find secrets on it in some way. Uh, what do you mean? Like, there's no, like, in, in, in Super Metroid, sometimes there's, like, a little bit of telegraphing. They tell you when there's a secret nearby. But if, like, if they're not indicated, that's interesting. I might have to keep my eyes peeled. Or maybe not. Maybe it's, you're supposed to play with a guide. I don't know. This is my first time playing Super Metroid. <laughs> How about the ones that are literally, literally just in a wall? Okay. I do remember that. I found, uh, I don't know if you remember, uh, Meridia, where there's like the mama, like the mama turtle, and there's a missile upgrade right in the wall. I literally found that by accident because I was just shooting down for no reason whatsoever. I was just shooting down, and I found a missile, and I just like touched it, and I got it. And I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, like, you're right. It does not indicate it. You're right. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, that was just pure fucking luck. Ah <laughs> oh, man, maybe that I, I think I think finding that one is for more like New Game Plus playthroughs or something like that. You're like just you know when it's your like third time playing it. But like I want to get uh, I'm not trying to find all the secrets in Fusion, but I'm trying to find enough where I'm like not curb stomped. Uh, I I notice health goes down super quickly in this game. So, you know what? Uh, I really hope I find a way to not die super fast. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Wait, no, I should keep... I can, I, that's, that's for farming. 
Why is it performing? Is something coming up? I think something's coming up. I better keep farming. Jeez. Okay, I'm good. Oh, I finally got the pun in your name, Dragon Rider. Dumbass. I didn't know that. Fuck. What? Shit. How do I... Ugh. God damn it! Yo, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? There you go. All right, that's a full refill. Nice. Oh. Oh, God. Come back! Charge beam! Okay, I- Shit, I didn't even know there was a charge beam here. I forgot about the charge beam, yeah. Beam charge. Suit. Act. Misc. Morph ball. I got way too scared. <laughs> Oh, yep. Dead ends are usually the best indicator for when there's like a secret or something. I appreciate it for that. All right. Progress! Oh god, we are going on our uh, first hour of gameplay. Or first hour of streaming. I don't generally stream for a long time, so this feels like kind of a... Kind of an achievement for me. I don't... I'm not a streamer, you know? I, I play games for fun, stream, like privately for like one or two friends so this is this is new this is cool i'm gonna have to go refill my water in a second just as soon as i find a save room and looking at the map i think i just did it gets easier the more you do it what do you mean like streaming ah i bet yeah no yeah for sure i used to stream really regularly i think i don't know if you remember girl sadies uh yeah i used to stream very often i used to stream a lot of my, like my artwork um, and, you know, I just got tired of it after doing it for so long, like, just, I, like, I'm, I'm serious, I used to do this a lot, and fucking hell, um, like, it, it's something else, because, like, eventually, your chat just becomes, like, a chat room for, like, a group of people who like to come around and, like, just, uh, you know, celebrate whatever you're working on, I guess. And, you know, I stopped doing that because, yeah, honestly, it gets kind of tiring after a while, but... Yeah.
Uh, but yeah, uh, frankly, like I, I've talked about this a few times that I think the reason I didn't like uh, streaming after a while was because I just associated it with like my job, my work, because, you know, I stream my work. <laughs> like if you're art streaming, you're basically doing your job in public. And after a while, I just got tired of that. I didn't love that. I didn't. Uh, so, you know what? I said to myself, I'm just going to stream video games i'm gonna stream for fun i'm not gonna stream art that's that's my job you know it's like if you work at a car car dealership you're not gonna like stream yourself talking to clients right <laughs> but um you know like i and i try i've tried that a few times uh these few man this uh, months these last few months and it's been good it's just i'm not built for it i'm i like to get up a lot very often i get fidgety if i stay sitting sitting still for too long even if even if it is playing video games honestly so you know what uh but i'm enjoying this i set out to play metroid fusion i really want to play and finish metroid fusion and i'm doing that so yeah i'm gonna consider that like a celebration of this so uh i'm gonna take a quick bio break i'm gonna re get a water refill and i'll be back in a minute
I am back and ready for another hour. What's up? Okay, so, um, yeah. Let's keep going. Thank you for welcoming me back. By the way, let's see. I've been going on for like an hour 18 with four viewers. That's actually pretty good. Um, man, I don't know if you know this, but when I worked on, uh, I was working on a comic and like we were allowed to stream like every day. Oh, look, this is where I was. And I was like allowed to stream every day. I was uh, pulling in like 60 viewers per stream. That was pretty crazy, especially for an art stream. Navigation room. Where's the navigation room? Up top. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep climbing. Oh, I'm so glad they remind you what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, man. But, eh. But yeah, it's fine. Like, I didn't want to stream my job anymore, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna be playing, playing video games every so often. Not always, because there's a lot of games I can't play on my old laptop because it's a work laptop. It's just for, it's just for working. Like, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna stream one day. GeoGuessr. That's a good little stream game. You get to like just chill and you know you can play it on your browser. It's all good. It's all fine. Oh, ah man, I really should play a uh, Gardic phone on my desktop one day, but my tablet doesn't work on my computer, so can't do that uh, just yet. Soon though, soon, soon. Dude, yeah, I don't know if you've seen Ross's videos. I'm in those. I've streamed Gardic Phone, just not been the one to do the streaming. I've, I've done on-stream Gardic Phone. I've done a bunch of that, actually, and it's so fun. I love it. And I kind of want to like, stream it on my end as well, but again, my computer, it's just, it, it's just kind of a situation. Uh, my fucking tablet display is all blue, like my equipment is super old, and I really need a, re a refresh. Which is why I hope my Patreon does well. <laughs> Recharge room. Yeah, we're all good. So yeah, like Calcades, you've you've seen Ross's pro artist playing Gardic Phone, right? You've seen those, right? Because you should see those. Like they're on YouTube, they're all over YouTube. I'm in a bunch of those. Awesome, okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I've done a few more than the ones I've been in. But, yeah. Um, supporting. Thank you so much, man, for the support. Uh, I don't know if you've seen recently what I've set out to do, but I'm going to be doing animation stuff. And I'm so excited to do animation stuff, especially on Patreon, because... You know, like like I've already outlined in the in the, on the blog a few times. I uh, I'm just gonna be, uh, you know, doing <laughs> doing the kind of shit I've always wanted to do. Like I set out to do like storyboards and cartoons and stuff and comics and comics is kind of a complicated panorama these days, especially with with like NSFW or not say pork stuff, uh, which is uh, it's tough to do, to make an, an not say pork comic because. There's not a lot of venues for publishing, and like you could put it up on social media, but social media is not for publishing, you know. Uh, but video, there's a bunch of places where people love not safe work video, so many places. So I think it's a pretty good way to go. It's a pretty good way to like uh, just do you know not safe work stories in video form and animation form. So it's what I'm gonna be doing, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be uh, doing like an update post like next week or this week um, and the final scene is like scene one I'm gonna be working on one scene per month at least so scene one is gonna be done by like the end of the month and it's gonna look awesome I hope the stream not safe for yeah um, 
I frankly do not know about not network streaming besides the usual places. Uh, but I mean, video. There's <laughs> there's places. Hello. <laughs> um. God, I hate this chair. Okay, navigation room. Let's get back to it. I lost viewers talking about not safe work stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't mind. <laughs> if y'all want to vibe, y'all can vibe with me. If y'all don't, that's fine too. Okay. Tropical. It's fine. Hey, maybe tell your friends I'm streaming. I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know how to get, like, viewers from, like, nothing. Any objections, lady? Oh. Remember when we used to like Adam? Wait, was that always what that looked like? Didn't it get, like, broken? Or was that the other elevator? Oh, yeah. Look, I don't mind. I don't mind about viewership. I'm just... I look at Twitch as, like, a living room. And... Or a lounge, I guess. A public lounge. And... With, like, a TV. And, like, I'm just playing video games. And if you want to come into the lounge and say hi... That's cool. Thanks for hanging out. If you'd rather not, if you'd like want to go to a sem someone else's lounge, that's fine too. Like I'm not expecting a movie theater. I, I like the lounge feeling. Anyway, like it's fine. I I genuinely appreciate someone wanting to hang out. <laughs> you know. Okay, let's go. There you go. <laughs> there, I'm like getting into position. All right, let's go. Oh, it's a small place. Ah, yeah. Ooh. Just run, just run. Okay, got it, got it. It's a cold, yeah. The Metroid, god damn. I love that they do tie in like actual Metroid characteristics to the Metroid suit. God damn it. Okay, oh I'm actually going to start bumping into the SAX now. 
Oh god, I hate this. I hate this feeling. This feeling of dread. Uh, took the affiliate stuff for custom emojis. Yeah, look, here's the thing. I'm not gonna try to monetize Twitch. Um, not at all. Like, for starters, the su fucking subscriptions take out like half of what you make. So it's like just for the same amount of money, you can support me way more on my Patreon. <laughs> you know. So um, and you get like way more perks. So um, yeah, like. I'm not gonna try to monetize Twitch, I'm just here for fun. I'm not gonna do anything serious on Twitch. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all good. <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm just here. I'm just vibing. I'm just vibing. Y'all are here to, like, y'all are free to, like, join me in my vibing. Anyway, let's keep going! God! I'm so scared of the fucking SAX, like. Especially because I don't have like a super great grip on the controls just yet. Like I still like just, I still do this when I want to like aim up. Call it muscle memory from like Super Metroid. How's the video quality, by the way? All right. Oh, I recognize those little things from uh, Zebus. Oh, actually, no, I should probably go in there. Oh! Oh, motherfucker. So I'm supposed to get something that'll let me go through. Okay. You don't think it looks good? That's good, that's good. Uh, sometime back, I actually got the advice to like either lower or higher my bed rate. And I don't know, like, could the image be clearer, you think, maybe? Yeah, it's this way I'm not supposed to go just yet. I I've got I've got a shit 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 shit. I have a sort of like CRT bit line filter on my Game Boy Advance, like my completely illegal Game Boy Advance. Um, so yeah, I do have a filter on it. Like, it's a bit of a fuzz and some, like, scan lines. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, actually, let me, uh, let me look at the stream preview. Oh, that's actually perfect. That's, like, one-to-one -to, -one to what I'm looking at, yeah. All right, yeah. Perfect, all right, I'm, I'm, oh. Gonna turn on the light real quick. And shut the fucking curtains. All right. Let's keep going. Oh man, I didn't know moving helped uh, improve your ISP or change your ISP. Oh, no, wait, I did know that. In the United States, there's like a, monop a regional monopoly, right? So, yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Rasted Insanity, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Um, I don't have, like, alerts set up. Because um, I'm a sucker for aesthetics. But... Um, and also, like, my, my, uh, the streaming, I'm sort of trying to, the stream style I'm trying to, like, capture is more like Vine Sauce, without all the alerts and stuff, so, yeah. Alright, <laughs> I'm just chilling. That's good, I'm just chilling too. We're just having a good time here. Uh, grab a drink, we're, I'm, I'm having water mostly, but, 
Uh, yeah, we're just playing video games. Vibing. How's your week been? It's been, uh, it's hump day, right? It's a bit heavy. Um, personally, my week has been pretty okay. I've been experimenting with animation lately. So I'm pretty hype about that. It's like really, I get more hype about animating than I do about like normal illustration. It might be just because of the novelty, but I really appreciate like slowly with every drawing, seeing my drawing moving more, which is really cool. So that's how my week's been going. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep climbing by the way. You wanna know why I keep climbing instead of going to where like the data is? Because I'm terrified of the SAX. Oh, tropical, yeah. That's some tropical music. Ah, uh, yeah, I found it. Awesome. All right, blue hatches. Awesome. It's interesting. It's like one of the few times in Metroid where like you actually have to unlock something instead of getting an item that works as a key. It's interesting. It's pretty experimental. I'm farming just a little bit. Okay, so what's the difference? Why do I kill an enemy sometimes with a charge shot and sometimes it doesn't? My theory is because it's three tiles and if all like if I hit in the middle, that's a kill, but if I hit with like one of the top tile or the bottom tile, that's not a kill. Like that's my theory. I'll have to check later. Do I remember these guys from Meridia? There's something in here, I can sense it. You're right, might need bombs. But there is something in there. That is an item room. I know, I don't know. This is my first time playing this. Here we go, the place we might see the SAX.
bombs. Yep. Bombs. Yeah, you can tell it's a bit telegraphed. Bomb data. You wouldn't download a bomb, would you? Let me just say, uh, I like retweeting my stuff every so often, so. Yeah, <laughs> now for legal reasons, we do not condone downloading bombs on this YouTube channel. Don't don't tell anyone you you can you would download a bomb seriously man just <laughs> have a little bit of a survival instinct or something. All right, let's go. The command and conquer red alert, guys. Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the, what was that? What was that? Whoa! What the fuck was that noise? What the f Oh, was that the SAX? God damn it. Oh, god damn it, it was. I refuse. I refuse to go down there. I refuse to go down there. I'm actually terrified. Shit, 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 fuck. Oh god, it's getting louder. Oh fuck, oh fuck. It's terrifying. I can't wall jump. Man, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually scary. Why can I still hear it? Okay, I stopped hearing it. Which is good. I need to find a save room. God damn it, it's all the way up there.
the hell is that noise? Oh god, it's chasing me! The hell was what with that guy? Jeez. No, huh. I remember these guys. do I get out of here? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Gotta bomb everything, eh? That's the Metro way. Okay, so I gotta go back to the navigation room. A lot of doors here, so I don't know. Nope, 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 nope. I've seen the videos. Did y'all see how fast I fucking noped out of there just because I recognized all the fucking <laughs> Super Metroid videos? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm actually kind of amused by that. It's just, you know, every time people talk about the SAX, they post a clip of that moment, of that one fucking hallway. <laughs> so I recognized immediately <laughs> that that's the fucking SAX hallway. Okay, so technically save rooms are... I hate this chair. I hate this chair. Listen to that. How, what do I even... You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna get some oil right now. Y'all can hear every step of the way. I don't even know what exactly about it is squeaking. Like, I don't know what's the main component of it squeaking. Yeah, like, here's the thing. I built this chair, like, I assembled it myself, so I made a, I, I did a really crappy job. Like, I know I screwed this up. But, like, still. This shit is louder than I am. Oh, I might have applied way too much oil here. <laughs> Ow. Ugh. 
Okay, okay, almost there, almost done. Just doing all the sides. Wait, shit, did it fix it? Like, it, it, it squeaks a, a bit, but like reasonably so. Holy shit, I've had this issue with this chair for like years. And now I fixed it. How about that? That's crazy. I, I just, I never thought to put a, to apply oil to it. Because I always thought it was because it did a shitty job. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, I'm, I'm like, I was, I'm moving it right now the exact same way I was moving it before. And like, it... <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I think I know exactly what about it is squeaking now. Let's see. Okay, I feel way more confident about this now. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see exactly what it is. Holy shit. But it's like way less squeaky now. And it's just the, the, the tiniest bit of oil. The tiniest bit. I'm not even applying that much. Holy shit! <laughs> yep, it would be like screaming right about now. Yep. Holy shit, I did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> That's impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself if I do. If I do say so myself. Ooh yeah. Anyway, let's get back to it. Oh, Messias Rocket, thank you so much for the follow. I am playing Metroid Fusion right now, so let's get back to it. I am terrified. Oh my god, I'm so happy this fucking chair stopped squeaking. It stopped, it entirely stopped. I'm, I'm like rocking back and forth. And you can't hear shit. Holy fuck, yeah! <laughs> that is awesome. That is catharsis. Absolute catharsis. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, uh, developments with the game. I am terrified of the SAX. But at least we got we found a save room. So that should be good. What, what am I doing wrong here? Should I like hold it? Oh. Okay, there's nothing there. Water. I cannot navigate water as of this writing. So, this will have to wait. Why is this open? What's up? Why is this open? Am I, am I gonna find the high jump boots? Wait, shut I mean to do that? Oh, great, another save point! Yeah! Save room! Oh my god, this is such a relief! 
This is literally such a relief. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet about this real quick. Oh god. Oh god, this is so this is so comforting. This is my chair isn't screaming anymore. All right, here we go. Yes! Wait, what? Did I miss something? Oh, yeah, that's the end of that hallway. Okay. Okay, wish me luck, fam. This feels like a boss fight. This is a boss fight, yeah. Oh, God, what is this? What is this? Whoa. Oh, I know. Bombs, right? It's sucking the ground. Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to shoot up? Yeah, I'm supposed to shoot up, I bet. Wait, what? No, I've drawn way too much four this week. I don't, I'm not gonna embrace more four. Oh! Yeah, that might have been it, eh? Wait, was- is that really what I'm supposed to do? Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Right idea, wrong execution. Okay. Wait! Damn it! EAT ME! DO IT, MOTHERFUCKER! EAT ME! EAT ME! EAT ME! EAT ME! EAT ME! Eat me! Shit. Am I doing it right? I don't want to die. It's like I see the eye. Yep. Okay, so I'm supposed to shoot up. Okay, yeah. Shit! I, I'm just... I'm just... Ah, uh, I get... I approach the wrong angle, is what I'm noticing. Oh, 
Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, fuck. I'll get it this time. Just one more, just one more, just one more. I got this. I need more life. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, so I was wondering if there were indicators here that... Shit, fu I'm dead. I can- so I can do this without getting absorbed. Right? Okay, yes, yes! Okay, good. Wait! Okay. Lesson learned. Okay, look, it's Super Match Ready. It usually took me a couple of, like, it usually took me two tries, so I'm good. Oh, God. Yeah, I think- yeah, I did get it. I feel confident about that. It took me a bit. But yeah, like... The Flawless Run, yeah. Like, it- eh. Like, I had to do a... Ridley, I did it my first time, but literally just because, like, I psyched myself up super hard. Um... What was he called? A, a crocodile? Cro something. Choco Croco? Something like that. It took me... <laughs> it took me two tries because the first time I did feel... Uh, I didn't know you could shoot, like, charge beams at it. Uh, let me get water because that fucking eat me. Took out a lot out of me. Uh... Gonna save real quick. Uh, but yeah, like, it usually takes me like a trial run and then a good run. Ah, super bomb. Power bombs, okay. Wait, so did I do something wrong? Oh, that's right. I fucking bombed down. Yeah, that's right. Look at me being all confident against this guy. It's like character evolution. Like, <laughs> me evolution. Yeah, okay, I got it this time, guys. I got it this time. Come on, guys, cheer me up, cheer me up. Like, cheer me on, sorry, cheer me on. Okay. Shit, okay, wrong, wrong side. I, I was too scared. Okay, let's go. Ah, whatever, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. One... 
Ah, uh, yeah, I. Yeah, that's tough. Okay, 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 I can do it, I can do it. Shit. Damn it! Alright, 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 alright. I'm doing good, I'm doing better this time around. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy, easy. Yes! High jump! Yeah! I, I called it. I called it. High jump. Alright. Let's go! Woo! Did it! By the way, look at that background art. That's creepy because they like do organic pipes with the, like the holes. Like, what's that phobia called? Where you like you're afraid of like a series of holes and shit. That's what this has. Like, that's what this invokes. It's like hole phobia, holo phobia, whatever. Oh, look at that. Yeah, tryptophobia. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. That's like... Ah, oh, that is some awesome art. This game is awesome art, by the way. Just saying. No. Yeah, something tells me I don't want to go that way anyway. Something tells me. Save room. Yeah, I need that. I need that. I can use that. How are we doing, folks? We're going on two hours. Two hours playing Metroid Fusion. Yeah, just taking a breather. Alright. Oh, by the way, I bought myself a new uh, iPad cover today because mine was all ripped up. Because I've had mine since 2017. Like, my iPad's kind of old. Like, I had in case I needed... Wait, what? That's weird. Uh, I got my iPad uh, in 2017 in case I needed like a backup, uh, in case like something happened to my tablet, and also because I so I could go to like a, work at a cafe, and like this year a few months ago my computer stopped accepting my tablet. So, you know what? Props past free glass for knowing what to do. Oh, that's creepy. This is power bombs, right? Yeah. Okay. Still had to try. Oh god. That is scary. That is scary. <gasps> oh 
Oh my fucking god. That was the ice beam. That was the ice beam from Super Metroid. Holy fuck. Oh god. <sighs> That's scary. Oh, uh, Dalagonash, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my god. Hi. You just caught me at a moment where I'm like terrified for my life. Oh god. Dude, this game is fucking terrifying sometimes. Especially if you played like Super Metroid and you got all the friggin' power ups this motherfucker's using. Anyway, hi, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you uh, for joining. I'm trying to beat the. Oh god, where? They're evolving! Holy fuck! That's so creepy! Look at the sprite art on that! <laughs> oh, thank you so much! Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like marathon the Metroid game. Like, months ago, back when Dread got announced, I was like, oh, I'm gonna stream all the Metroid games before Dread come out. And I kept putting it off, and now I have to like marathon them now. <laughs> Not have to. I get to. Like, this is fun. I'm, I'm, I love this game. I love the series. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We're the last minute, peeps. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for the raid. Oh, God. I'm, I'm terrified of this game, by the way. Oh, uh, quick heads up. This is my first time playing it, so please be nice to me. <laughs> uh, it's my first time playing uh, Fusion. I've played Super Metroid a bunch of times. I've played, like, Samus Returns a bunch of times. But, like, Fusion is, like, my blind spot. And I figured it's about time. Oh god, where am I even going? Oh god. <laughs> it's blocking the way. Can I? No. Dude, this is so fucking creepy. These, these like... Oh god. I love this, by the way. Real quick. Like, let's, like, analyze this pixel art for a bit. Uh, first off, what a great introduction, by the way. Like, theming? Metroid is great at theming, like, areas and enemies and stuff. So, like... First off, they introduce these, like, harmless larvas. Absolutely harmless larvas. Like, just, you know, slithering around in the ground, right? And now, like, Act 2, you see them, like, you know, start cocooning and evolving and shit. So they're, like, warning you something's gonna happen with these guys. You're about to face a bigger enemy. Oh, God, and they get bigger, too. Like, it's not the same sprite, is it? Okay, this one, this one is, but there's, like, different sprites. Okay, so in the other room, that that had a different sprite. But, like, oh, this is, like, evolving. Okay, so I'm guessing, like, in one of the future rooms, I'm going to, like, face that off against, like, a fully, like, formed bee monster. Bee alien or whatever. It's more straightforward than Super Platoon without atmosphere and spades. Yes! Oh, God. It, like, the atmosphere on this. Like, here's the thing. I never felt, like, terrified in Super. Like, even if... Uh, even like during like the the what you call it the sunken ship, never felt terrified. Like yeah, it was spooky, but you recognize it as spooky. But honestly, by the time you reach the the ship, you got like a shit ton of missiles, a shit ton of bombs and shit. Like you're 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 stacked, right? But this like I feel genuinely scared of like the SAX. I love it, and yeah, like honestly, like shout outs to all the art. Like, like I'm a, I'm an artist, so like I like look at all that stuff. I'm I'm paying attention to all the sprites, all the artwork, like all the animations. Like for example, right here, let's talk about animation for a second. Look at that idle animation; it's just breathing, you know. But it's very subtle movements. It's like that's three frames. Like mostly, you can tell from the back. And it's supposed to be, like, an organic suit. I don't know if the art, like, the key art manages to, like, properly reflect this. But, like, the suit is, like, moving and shimmering on itself. By itself. Because it's, like, or an organic suit. Unlike all the other games. But I guess this is also, like, just Samus breathing. Oh, God, they're moving more. Oh, shit. See? See what I tell you? They're moving even more now. Like, these are going to be big bugs once they hatch. That's terrifying. I love it. That's bomb. Yeah, that's a bombable wall. And missiles! See, it feels so nice. Anyway, oh, Dalagonash. Thank you for the follow. Is that how you say it? I don't know how to say it. Dal Dalagonash? 
Like, tell it, dig it, doll it. I mean, oh god, like, shimmers. Like, it, like, oh. It's that bug movement you hate to see, right? Up. Oh. oh god. This game is so good, folks. This game is so fucking good. Like, if y'all were wondering why people were screaming, Oh god! These are the fucking ones I kept, like, farming from! Shit! Holy shit! Um, yeah, like, if y'all are wondering why so many, so many of us were screaming at the Dread announcement, this is why. We fucking love, like, this game, these games are so well made. Like, seriously, so well made. Oh yeah, this is the room I was, like, looking for, looking for stuff. Yep. Yep, it's that one. I knew it. And another missile pack. We are doing great progress on this, even though we're like just still at the start of the game. <laughs> All right, nothing here. Just a quick drink of water. <laughs> Uh, where are we going? We gotta go there. Uh, to the navigation room, yeah. Wait, is there like any blue doors I missed? Nope. Blue doors are all accounted for. Shit, 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 fuck, shit, fuck, fuck. Don't let them touch me! Don't fucking t Oh god, it's- I hate this. Like, ah, oh, they're creepy crawlies in the most literal sense. Oh, and now I can get this item. Yup! Alright! And as always, you know, if you get one item, you gotta check for more. Oh, what's this? What's this? Is this the screw attack? I think it might be the screw attack. Mental note. Making a mental note for the screw attack here. Ow. Ow. Can I get it right? Yeah, I can. I have the capacity to get it right. Oh god. Gross. Recharge room. <sighs> okay, so usually we take breathers in these rooms. Ugh. Save data, yeah. Whew! Okay, breather time. What are we up to? What are we doing? How are we feeling today, fam? Actually, getting a bit tired. I don't usually stream for this long. Two hours. Two hours is usually like where I start cutting it off. But no, I I feel like doing this. I want to beat this game in one sitting. Actually, you know what? Beating this game in one sitting might be a bit out of the question, but you can still have a good time in one sitting. Uh, I think I could beat it tomorrow, maybe. Like if I play it for a pretty long session if I start start early. Nav room, let's see. We've got trouble. Oh boy. Aqua. <laughs> Sector 4. 
All right, let's go. Oh boy. I mean, I could throw. Okay, are there any blue doors here? Do people usually go back to, like, the start of the game? I might go back to the start to see if I've unlocked anything. Oh. Yeah, alright. See, I'm the guy that always went to Criteria back when he got a new ability, so. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm the, I'm the kind of guy who, like, gets a new item and immediately is like, ooh, keys to the rest of the house, you know? Something like that. God, I'm so excited for Dread. <laughs> like, I keep seeing these navigation rooms, and that's what I think, because I did watch the Nintendo Treehouse, where they, like, actually go into, like, the navigation rooms in Dread. Okay, the seconds are gonna have more damage. Ooh. This is where like the aliens factor comes in, right? That uh, Wayland Yutani wants the the X. <laughs> Sarah's, yeah, okay. To the breeding tank. Yeah, so this monster that uh, the SAX unleashed, it goes to the fuck room. You know, to fuck. <laughs> Been authorized to terminate. Uh. Okay, so yeah, like this is obvious for anyone, but like all the aliens inspiration, alien and aliens the inspiration these games have, they're fantastic because you know they're really effective little uh, themes about how like the Federation will always like be more into preserving these these like like enemies for weaponization, you know. Instead of like doing the right thing and like terminating the enemies, like because they're video game enemies or whatever, um, it's fascinating. Like, holy shit, the Federation are bastards! Electrify the water. Oh, okay, Whew. save. See, this is this is why I like so much. Uh, I like the lore of Metroid so much because um, you know there's like factions and there's like double crossing and some like it's more than just you know how Star Fox is annoying because the Cornarian army are are always the good guys and Andros is always the bad guy and like it's fine you know there's room for that but but it really makes it stand out when a Nintendo franchise decides no the Federation are kind of evil. You know, like, I I, uh, I appreciate that in the story, and especially, um, you know, Metroid story. Oh, Zero Shigeru, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I, I'm i really into the way that these games do lore. Um, I was watching, actually, if, I, if you don't mind me, like, digressing a little bit while in this room. I recently watched a video essay about like Other M and it's like, yeah, Other M sucks. <laughs> nice, love this. How Other M sucks, but it was kind of mistranslated. Like, a there's a few plot points that were erased in the adaptation to English. Yeah, 
Exactly. Evil genocidal sci-fi creature exists. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's why I vibe so much with stuff like Doom and Aliens and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I, so there's this subplot that kind of gets lost in translation where it's like, up until Super Metroid and if you want Other M, the Federation had been highly militarized. It was like highly military, like what you see in Prime. And then after Super and after or after like Other M, like the events of Other M causes a lot of the Federation's dirty laundry to come out and makes them stop being so militaristic and more like they more become like more diplomatic and shit. So that leads to how in Metroid Fusion they're like doing this on the down low. They're like there's like a faction of the Federation that's like going against the rules and being assholes. So you know that's what that's why I was always kind of afraid of the wrong hands doing Metroid 5. Because frankly, it's, it would be really easy to like just ignore all the lore so far and go, oh, the Federation are the good guys and they've told you to go to this planet and destroy the evil enemy. You know, like Star Fox. Or, like, optimistically, they can go with like, oh, there's a faction of the Federation that's evil. So, you know, I'm, like, really excited to see what Dread does in that respect. Recharge room, yeah. I think I'm good. Yeah, 50, 99. Yeah, we're good. Wait, no, where am I? Okay, you made me think I wasn't the target. Engage Ceres. I have to actually fight Ceres. Shouldn't I go get some... Wait, no, I, I should go to the download room, right? No, probably not. It's a linear game. Oh, electrify water. Nice. Ah, I, I keep forgetting I can't wall jump. Oh, great, a save room. Yeah, like I said, I keep forgetting I can wall jump because, like I said, I'm so used to fucking Super Metroid. Is there is there a Shine Spark in this game, by the way? You know what? Don't answer that. I'll find out myself. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, this is like a submarine. Okay, yeah. Oh, these were in Zebes. These were enemies from Super Metroid. That's nice. Interesting. All right. Ooh. 
Ah, the game kind of like pushes you there. Yeah, you can live. Yeah, I don't want to give up on this just yet. Shit. Like... Oh, I'm getting near the fucking fuck room. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so where am I? Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Uh, this is a game I've played so many times. I've gone back when I launched. Yeah, um, it like I do know like this is game. This game is like absolute quality, for sure. Just you know, I think I've said it a few times already. Uh, this is my first time playing it. Uh, it's like my the one Metroid game I haven't beat. Like, so. Shit. I don't I uh What am I doing wrong here? So yeah, I'm trying to fill that gap, especially because it's like Metroid 4 and the fifth one is about to come out, so I gotta go in the water? Wait, really? The electric water? Shit. Alright, here goes nothing. You lied to me. No, the last- what? I know, I've been going in the water. This water, right? This feels so simple, but I feel like I'm missing something. Well, anyway, at least I fucking tried it, right? Like, let's see. Yeah, I tried a few tiles of that. Okay, what am I missing? It's up, yeah. Okay, so the game does push you to like get in here. Backtracking, okay, okay. Like yeah, I'll admit I wasn't super complete about what I was doing earlier. That's fine. This motherfucker always gets me. I don't know why I do that. I can just. I can. Fuck. Fuck.
Okay, I can pro I should probably backtrack a bit. Oh yeah, there's an item there too, I missed. Yep. It's probably worth getting inside these tanks, eh? Fucking die! Che Why? I lost so much health doing that! What the fuck? Oh, mother! I lost so much health just fucking trying to tank. Yeah, I should, I should realize I should not try to tank hits, and especially with, like with the fucking fusion suit. Shit! Ow, my throat. Yeah, I got distance, man. If I get too close to to creatures, I might die. Mm -hmm. um. Yeah, yeah, probably. It makes sense. Just, uh. Let's keep going. Let's get back there. I think I was on the right track anyway. Oh, interesting. That like I I was pretty behind. What's that in the back? Jeez. Ah, is there a gravity suit in this game? Oh, white. Oh, look at that. Spoilers, dude. I've I've already played quite a few Metro games. I think it's fine. Wait, first I do want to get back to where I was. Those extra missiles would have really helped. Shit. No, come back. Damn it. All right, there is good. Anyway, I mean it's fine. I'm going to play this like it's it came out in like 2002. It's fine. Alright, yeah, missile tanks. Could always use more missile tanks. Woo! Alright, so we tried... Yeah, okay. Nothing more to do here. Always! That motherfucker always gets me.
God, that really does pack a punch, eh? Yep, save room first. Whoo! Save data, yeah. Guys, let's take a quick look. Chat break. Let's talk for a bit. Let's get to know each other. Let's get to know each other better. Um, ow. Let me stretch a bit, too. Yeah, I've been playing for, uh, two hours and 40 minutes. That's quite a bit. That's more than I usually go for. That is absolutely 100% more than what I usually go for. And, uh... Yeah, I'm 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 pretty uh, uh I'm getting used to it for sure. Um I'm having a lot of fun with this game. But I really don't think we'll, we're going to be able to beat it in one sitting, especially because I'm a really fidgety guy who likes to get up and do different stuff between like setting down sessions. What have I marathon so far? Um, Super Metroid. Just that was that was off stream actually, so I don't know if that counts. Um, and I'm kind of starting with Mer Metroid Fusion. <laughs> um, it's just I don't know. I think it's the pressure of like having a, an audience <laughs> that makes this a bit weird for me. I'm not used to it, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm having a good time. I think I mentioned earlier that like I like to view Twitch as like this living room slash lounge that I'm just sitting in uh, with like a TV and stuff and like you can join whenever you want like anyone can join and stuff it's just a couch it's it's a big old couch so I want to treat it that way just chill maybe maybe not so much talking so yeah are y'all looking forward to Metroid Dread like I'm guessing a few of you I, but like is anyone changed their minds since it got announced because you know like since the fucking trailer came out i was like i'm buying that and i have not changed my mind so i'm actually curious all right let's keep going Oh, excellent. Wait, what? No, come on. Hmm. Aw, oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Hell yeah, you enjoy that steel bug. God, it sucks so much that Nintendo won't release the trilogy on Switch. Or that rumored Prime 1 remake. What the fuck? Wait, was I supposed to try bombs? I'm gonna go try bombs. Like, I'm just gonna, yeah. Wow. 
charge, morph ball, high jump. Yep. What the fuck? I don't want to look over a guide or anything. Oh, there it is. There's the fucking shine spark. Damn it. And this must not be fun to watch, but you know what? I'm, I don't want to quit on the game. Usually this is the point, you know, when I start getting, like, hit with obstacles. I'm just... I quit. Like, for the day. But I don't want to quit for the day. I want to, I want to finish this game. Potentially in one sitting. Oh, Meridia. Fuck Meridia. Seriously. I absolutely get what you mean. Ah, it's just it's so maze-like in all the different levels and all the... Uh, and the sand, the goddamn sand. I'm gonna go Anakin Skywalker on stream. If you get me talking about the sand in Meridia. You, but you know, it, it actually does help to make like the gravity suit, or not the gravity suit, uh, the, uh, the space jump. It makes you appreciate the space jump that much more, right? So it, it does its job. There's something missing from here. Like, I, I think this is the way to go, but ah, oh, then they wouldn't telegraph it so clearly. <laughs> 
You get the wall jump, yeah. Dude, I actually heard my thumbs trying to wall jump up up the large chasms. I'm a bit frustrated in case you can't tell. God, I really don't know where to go. Am I gonna call it a stream here? I hope not. But I really do not know where to go. I'm gonna keep exploring. Hidden area on the far left area, okay. See, I usually don't like backseat gaming. I like to explore things on my own, but... Like, in Super Metroid, I would absolutely not be keen on playing on stream for the first time. Because I feel like that game does, like, railroading so well that you really... It literally, all it takes is just, you know, a little bit of probing everything. But this doesn't feel the same. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just making excuses because I'm on stream and, like... I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, that was it. <laughs> Did you notice me going like, what? Up, 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 up. Wait, wait, there was that one bit I didn't bomb. That was it. That was literally it. I only help with that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, goddamn. Okay, yeah, all I needed to do was, like, just try one, like, be a little bit more observant. That was all I needed. Which is on part for the course for Metro Day. There you go. All right. Whew. Okay, so I'm gonna see real quick since we're talking about Super Metroid X Ray Visor. Uh, honestly, maybe, but I feel like if they put in the X Ray Visor, they would like add stuff to compensate for it. Like, you know, I've just been learning these last few months. The fucking people who design Metroid games are so fucking smart <laughs> at this shit. You know, they're so good at mad design. Like, I was about to say, like, going, going back to Super Metroid, um,. I just love the way that game is structured because it, it is sort of like an open map, but it like eases you into it. It like, it's the ultimate easing into it game because um, it, it kind of throws you down like bottomless chasms a few times without a way back up. And like, that's how you, it, it is linear in that fashion because the only, like it, it says, no, you can't go back. You have to like explore all of this area. You still have shit to do in this area. And once you, you're all out of shit to do in this area, you probably can already get back up or like you can move on. And it does that a few times until you get right back to your gunship. And that is just genius. That is the coolest feeling when you're playing a Metroid game, like Super Metroid specifically. 
is like once you get you do the whole tour of the inside of uh Zebes. so i love that feeling that's that's like that, i think that was the moment i fell in love with super metroid honestly like once i got back to the gunship and i was like oh oh shit i got this you know that feeling where you stop feeling lost because you just went down a bottomless chasm and you're like oh wait no i'm i'm on top of things you know i love that game i love that game so much have i played zero mission recently no I've not played it since it was on GBA. I played it on my Game Boy Advance SP. That's kind of why I wanted to do like a Metroid Marathon because I wanted to refresh my memory. <laughs> you know? Um, and I left it all to the last minute because I'm a procrastinator and I'm also a professional artist and who mixes business with pleasure and thus I, can no, I have no boundaries between work and fun time. Uh, but yeah. Um... It's it's just uh, I I should play Zero Mission, and then my idea was to play like one game per week leading up to it, and I've just been having having less and less time to replay the games, until like I'm only a few days away from <laughs> Dread coming out, and I know once Dread comes out, I'm not gonna. Or you know what? I might beat Dread, and then replay the Metroid games like. Oh god, aren't you fucking excited for Dread? Like, the fact that there's gonna be a new Metroid game, like, main series Metroid game, and be like, oh, like, you're gonna be exploring new shit for the first time, and who knows so long, because even though, Sam even though Samus Returns is there, it was still, like, you know where it was going, right? But, like, every step is gonna be like, oh, this is gonna be classic, like, oh, the Metroid fandom is gonna be, is gonna know this area so well, and this is my first time seeing it, like, that was the feeling I got when playing Odyssey. Uh, but yeah, no, I haven't played Zero Mission, and I really want to play Zero Mission. And if I get if I get a move on, and do enough progress on Zero Mission today and tomorrow, I might have a little time to at least skim Zero Mission. Anyway, back to it. That was the save room. Wait, what is this? Observation skills. Whoa. Oh, this is Ceres, right? This is the monster. And it's fucking dead. Oh, the ex parasite killed it. Oh, shit! This game is way too good. Yeah, no wonder this didn't have, like, the big eye. Don't. Literally don't. Seriously, do not. Honestly, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like, it's memorabilia, you know? Like, like... What it, maybe without Other M, we wouldn't have had Metroid 5... Like, let's just keep it in... Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this, let's do this. Let's go, let's fucking go, let's fucking go, let's fucking go, let's do this, let's do this. Cheer me on, Chad, cheer me on, cheer me on. Whoa, what the- whoa, that's fast, fuck me. That's the shine spark.
Damn it, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, it goes over. Okay, almost to there. Almost. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yep. Yeah, it shows you its pattern. Okay, I got it. Fuck. And they still fuck up. Oh god, I'm so low on health. Shit, shit. Oh, damn it. No, come to me. Come to me, X Parasites. Come to me. Come to me. Come to daddy. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh! Damn it, I can't believe I beat Sarah's, like, the Sarah's form. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, I love this game, Sam. It equals Super Prime 1. Zero Mission. I've heard the... I heard the, the remixes from Zero Mission. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Like, the Crate Slayer. That one stands out a lot to me. Wait, shit. I did the same thing again. I forgot we've, go we've been going on for three hours. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, chat. Might I call it a stream after beating this guy? I don't know. Maybe? Let me focus on this real quick. Cheer me on. I can do this. Oh, damn it, I shouldn't have done that. No, damn it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. 
Oh, what? No! Damn it! I'm losing way too much health on Sarah's. Damn it. Oh. It's like the GBA is more powerful SNES. Yeah, true. Like, it had like 32 bits, the SNES. Like, it was like technically as powerful as a PlayStation 1. But I'm not sure. I'm going to try this one more time. I really do not know what to do with, like, Sarah's patterns. Like, I feel like I should know what to do better. But I'm not sure. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try and see. Like, it's not hard to get to him, so, you know, it's fine. But I am, I think I am going to call it, like, a stream done, stream over when I'm, shit, I keep doing that. Stream over once I'm, I'm done with this guy. You know, this actually makes me feel sorry for, like, the original monster. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Okay, I seem to be safe here. Wait, nope, never mind. Jinxed it. But if I can keep it to just one hit per like cycle, I consider that a win. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Damn it. So far, so good. <laughs> oh shit, did I find a cheese? I fucking did it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a stream here, guys. I'm, uh... And you know what? I'll keep playing tomorrow. I'll, I'll for sure uh, log on tomorrow. So keep playing this. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do I do? Oh, I'm supposed to get out through the other side. You're right. Yep. Let me let me do that first. Let me say real for uh, for real. If you're like ever seen John Carpenter is the thing, yeah, for sure, ex exactly like the thing. Curse of the Body Snatchers, or like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Curse. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it activates automatically. That's cool. It takes a while though. Oh. Wow. 
What? Actually, uh, yeah, easy to forget Super had a dedicated run button, but... It... But does... Fusion? What am I supposed to do here? Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's see. Like, okay, I see what the hell this is for. <sighs> oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what to do now. Wait, ah, oh. yeah, my idea is to like fall here and then like go through here with the shine spark and then run. Shit. The other wall? Yeah, the other wall. Yep, oh god, I should have thought of that. I was going to get to that. Nope. Now where are we? Oh. I want that missile pack. I want that missile pack. Oh, not that one, but sure, I'll take it too. <laughs> no, where are you going? Come back. Now I'll figure it out. Next time. Next stream. Probably tomorrow. I'm going to go downstairs and like actually buy Metroid Dread so I can I can play when it comes out. I'll probably revisit these games after playing Metroid Dread. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, this has been a really fun stream. Uh, I don't usually go for this long. Uh, if you haven't already, give me a follow so you know when I'm streaming again. Uh, and with tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much. It'll be... It has been fun. And I'm looking forward to playing the rest of this. I know I'm not exactly super... Uh, into, like, I'm not too far into the game, but still. Um, uh, once again, also, I have a Twitter, I have a Patreon, I have an Instagram, whatever you want to, uh, whatever, whatever you want to check out, I got. And, um, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye.